Today, Guitar Tone Central, we are coming to you from the DMZ. That's right, the Dean Magnetized Zone. Welcome to Guitar Tone Central and the Dean Magnetized Zone. What am I talking about? We're talking about Dean pickups today from Dean Magnetic Technologies. We've uh, explored some of Dean's pickups before. We did a couple on a previous show. Today, we're gonna explore three new ones, very different flavors, and something interesting that I found when I was checking these out and comparing them to each other. Now, before we get into the details, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Also click on the notification bell for us so that you can join us the next time. And thank you so much for being here with us today. So what are we talking about? We've got three pickups from Dean and uh, they are called the Baker Act because this one was designed by Pat Baker, longtime employee there at Dean Guitars. Uh, this is the Nostalgia and this one is the Michael Schenker Lights Out. Those of you who know who Michael Schenker is, it's pretty much what you expect, and we'll get to that here in a bit. Now, the interesting thing that I discovered when testing these different tones is that you don't always get what the manufacturer spec says. So for those of you who read, go on websites and read what this pickup sounds like, oh, this one's got more presence and this one's got more bottom end, that kind of thing, we don't always find that here when we test them, which is why we're bringing this to you here on Guitar Tone Central. So I'll give you an example. So the Baker Axe pickup, okay, this is wound to 17.3K ohms resistance. That's a lot of resistance. You'd expect that to be a high output. Usually pickups are six, seven K. This is 17K and change, right? And the, you know, Dean describes it that it's got boosted low and mid response with picking attack, okay? Well, there was some boosted low and mid. So what's that uh, in compared to the Nostalgia? They both look like the same humbucker, but of course the Nostalgia is wound to around 7.8 K uh, ohms. And um, it's described as having a more balanced EQ. Smoother, I guess that means, smooth, for smoother tones, okay? And then uh, Michael Schenker lights out. Michael Schenker, hard rocker, heavy metal guy, Obviously, you'd expect higher output. We're back up to 17K ohms on the windings. So this 17K versus this 17K, what's the difference? Do we really have a boost or are they the same? Well, let's find out. Why don't we go exploring and check them out? All right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start out clean and let's find out what these things sound like clean. So the Baker Act, we're gonna put these in the bridge bridge position, and we've got our amp on standby. Not anymore. All right, so what we're gonna do, just some basic strumming. Nice, even, smooth tone. Of course, that's what the nostalgia was supposed to be. But what do we find with that? That brightened up quite a bit, didn't it? Um, if you can hear that out there, it's a much noticeable, bright, twangier, janglier even uh, kind of sound out of that. So interesting difference. Let's go back real briefly to the Baker Act. Because this is our 17.3K, all right? Let's switch up with our Michael Schenker Lights Out, 17K. No change in volume. Well, no change in volume on the guitar, definite change in volume out of the amp. So what did I find? 
these, uh, the nostalgia, uh, it's got the brightness to it. The Baker Act, it's got the more mid-range smoothness to it. And the Michael Schenker, lights out, lights come on with that one actually, they get brighter. Because for some, now I'll tell you what the difference is. You've got, even, even though the, um, the 17K uh, pickups are the same winding resistance roughly, completely different magnets. Okay, the Michael Schenker's got a ceramic magnet and the Baker Act has an Alnico 5. So little details like that, they're not little, they're big. They make a big difference when you're choosing your pickup. So this could give you a little bit of an expectation of what you might find when you're reading some of the specs and reading about what kind of magnets, what kind of windings are used in the pickup. So a lot of resistance doesn't always mean louder. Uh, it just means different, okay? Now, one of the things I liked about some of these pickups, uh, let's, let's go to some overdrive tones. Let's see what happens when we, we switch it around. We'll start again with the Baker Act. Uh, that's okay, we didn't need that. Okay. Nice smooth tone, kind of reminds me of, uh, and this is what I liked about it, kind of like that Boston sound, that, that. It's got that burn, that smooth burn to it, okay? So let's listen, uh, let's compare that to the DMT Nostalgia. All right. The brightness is there, a little bit more brightness, not quite as noticeable as when it was on the clean channel. So um, I still like it. Uh, it's just a little different. That extra little bit of brightness, to me, I'm thinking might sound great in the neck, uh, neck position where normally things get a little bit darker, so. So that helps it stand out to me. I like that sound. So again, when you're picking pickups, where do you put it? Are you putting it in the bridge? Are you putting it in the neck? Makes a difference. So that brightness was great. Now let's, let's go for the Michael Schenker. We got the uh, nostalgia in the neck. It had a little bit more bite. Michael Schenker in the bridge. Go to the Baker Act. Wonder if you can hear this one little difference here. You there? Did you catch that? What I'm what I hear is the Michael Shanker has got higher output. So when I'm cranking it through our Mesa Boogie amp on the overdrive channel, we're getting kind of overdrive on top of overdrive. It's got more grit, more roughness to it. That could be good if that's what your song calls for, or the smoothness, the more evenness of that Baker Act, even though the output's not as much, gives you that. That's why I said it's got more like that, that Boston kind of a grind in the tone. So. That to me is part of the consideration when choosing one of these pickups. There's no wrong answer. It's just about what's in your song, what's in your music. If you want that extra grit and dirt, then the Michael Shanker lights out, definitely give that to you. If you want extra brightness, a little bit extra crunch on blues, that extra output of the lights out could be great. It might be a little bit too much in overdrive. 
for certain songs. So we wanted to bring you those differences. And of course, the, um, uh, the nostalgia seems to be kind of a, a brightness. This is, your, this is your brightness right here in a brightness in a box. So we wanted to bring those Dean pickups to you. Please, by all means, go to deanguitars.com and check out these pickups, right? Dean isn't just about the guitars. They make these here in Tampa, Florida. These are USA wound pickups. You're gonna love them. And why stick with just these three? We brought you a couple others in the previous video. And I think the combinations are, they're all unique. And this is why we're here to do this for you and see what kind of flavors of tones are available from Dean. And we thank them very much, by the way, for providing these for our show. And we want you to come back and please leave your comments down below so that if you have a per particular preference, want to hear a little bit more from Dean or want us to do some other type of demo with these pickups, let us know. Give us a shout. So we thank you again for being here at Guitar Tone Central and we will see you again next time.